A big bag of cotton balls is all you need to make several activities for your kids on a budget. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and let's talk about cotton balls. I have this huge bag. I think I got this at Walmart or something like that. But you can do so many kids' activities with cotton balls, all ages, all different ways, and I'm gonna give you five ideas. If you've been watching my blog, you've already seen some of these, but I'm gonna give you some new ones too. First idea is blowing a cotton ball. You're just gonna need some straws, maybe some painter's tape. You can set up a little maze on the floor and push that cotton ball through with the blower all the way through the maze. This is a great exercise because blowing through a straw is actually really good for the mouth and the tongue and speech development, believe it or not. And this can help your kids develop those speech muscles and strengthen them so they can speak properly. It's also a lot of fun to race cotton balls too to see who can get it across the fastest. Number two is a tweezer pickup. So you just need a whole bunch of cotton balls and a container to put them in. I have this little popcorn box right here. You know what, I just saw these at the Dollar Tree not too long ago. I got this one at the Target dollar spot maybe mm, eight years ago or so, but I've seen them at Dollar Tree. So if you want one, go pick it up, but you don't need that. You can just put them in any container. And then some tools, a variety of tools. I have this kit that comes with the tweezers, um, this little squeezy thing, you squeeze it and it opens. This one is you open it like scissors and it opens. I'll put the link down below where if you wanna get one of these, it's a really great kit to have for sensory bins and for fine motor skills. And this game is simply using one of the tools, whether it's tweezers or whatnot, and putting the little pieces of cotton into the container as if they were popcorn. Really simple, easy activity for the young ones. If you have really little kids, maybe just toddlers, just try just with the hands. Older kids try with the tools, and even older kids have them blindfolded and trying to put them inside and see how many they can get inside. Another great idea is a serving spoon that they can scoop them up in the spoon and see how many they can get to go inside within a certain time limit, maybe 10, 20 seconds. Another fabulous idea for cotton balls is using them in art projects. There are so many animals, if you just think about it, where you can make using cotton balls. Here's one I did last year. I have a video on this one on making a paper plate bunny, but think of the possibilities. Some things would be like ghosts and penguins and sheep and polar bears, snowmen, clouds, anything of that nature. Gluing is a really good preschool skill that everyone should be working on right now. If you are into sensory bins, you could fill an entire plastic sensory bin. This is a little shoe box I have here with cotton balls. This could be a snow sensory bin. It can be a touch and feel sensory bin. You probably have already done something like this with pom-poms. It's kind of a similar concept. And of course, as you all know, you can put anything in a sensory bin. You can make it winter themed, snowman themed, parts of the snowman in there and looking for, for them and pull them out. I'm putting in right now our little magnetic letters for a little bit more of a sensory experience of pushing them around and searching and exploring for those letters. And the last idea I have for you is painting. Sure, you can paint with paintbrushes, but just make it a little bit more special with some cotton balls. Use a clothespin, put it on just like that. You can do as many colors, as many clothespins as you want, and they just dip in the paint. You could do dots, you can drag it along and make lines. It just creates for a different kind of experience while painting. If you have some ideas using cotton balls for activities with your children, let me know in the comments. Click subscribe to see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up to show your love. But I just thought it was gonna be a fun idea to hold these up and see the different shapes that they would make on the wall.